every single thing that you are consuming in the media world is driven by a hashtag. All of these real-time events, they're all hashtag driven. So the, the media companies are embracing Twitter. It is the way that we consume real-time information. Everything in your Facebook feed, it's delayed. Facebook is, is determining what you see. They're ranking things in different ways, but Twitter is that real-time Wait a minute, Ted, but feed. listen, people stay on Facebook longer. That's the advertising argument for Facebook, that you can sell ads because people stay in Facebook longer than just reading a headline on Twitter. It doesn't matter. You know what? You can still drive people directly with Twitter, right? So That's putting right. An, an ad in that Twitter feed and then driving someone to a destination website, downloading an app, steps there. that's incredibly powerful that's right. for advertising. And the other point about that, um, take a look at Katy Perry, the most popular person on Twitter, 46.7 million followers. I just checked it. I'm sure that Twitter is making an awful lot of money selling that account to her, right? But how many are active who are reading it, right? How many are active well, users are there? That's the key. All right, guys. Well, I've got to tell you, hey, right now we're being told, hold on one sec, just an update to the, uh, the, the audience here. We're being told everything's running smoothly at the NICE. Uh, that this looks like it's going to go off without a hitch. The new uh, parameters getting tight here, 45 to $46. I want to go to with, the, with respect to the enthusiasm about the product, but how do you, again, get back to the idea that it might open at $46 a share? Look, if, if you're just looking at one part of Twitter right now, you're just saying, oh, let's look at advertising or, you know, let's, let's look at their user base, that is so short-sighted. What, what we were just talking about with the NSA right there and gathering that information, mining that data, that is the same thing that marketers can use. That is the same thing that customer service organizations can use. So it's not just about, hey, let me, let me inject an ad into your Twitter stream. It's that wealth of data that comes around that Twitter stream. And Twitter is just sitting on a gold mine of data. If you're just looking short sighted, you're just looking right now what they're able to do, yeah, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, but I can but go on Google look, and read anybody's Twitter feed. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't have to sign up for Twitter. And, and, and Twitter's not collecting the same amount of information in any sense that Google or Facebook or Yahoo or any of these other companies are. Look, the issue here is, yes, it is a, a free speech forum and a wonderful one, but it costs a lot of money to create that forum, and they haven't got a revenue stream that is capable of sustaining that right now. And, and here we are talking well, about... Guys, an IPO for the them. latest number I have right now is opening between 43 and $47 a share. So someone believes Often. that the revenue stream is on its way. We'll find out. Tools ...to actually you know, change their lives and generate income. And I look at the uh, social sponsorship space and what is happening <clears throat> with people monetizing their Twitter accounts. I mean, right now people go, can go to sponsortweets.com and they can essentially sell their tweets. And, you know, on the low end, that can be tens of dollars on the high end for a celebrity that can literally be hundreds of thousands of dollars and advertisers are are happy to pay that to have the connection have the affinity with these people who are influencing others to go buy product or to sign up for a, a new service so there is a whole sub economy here that most people don't even we're really going to be exists. copywriting tweets <laughs> and selling oh, absolutely. tweets? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, it is already it, happening. Joe, uh, Joe Fernandez, wanted to get back to you here. Um, listen. Uh